Sliding of a retaining wall refers to the horizontal movement of the retaining wall due to the active pressure. It relies on the frictions between the base and the ground to resist sliding. And this frictional force is very dependent on the load of the self-weight. The passive pressure acting in front of the base may be used to resist sliding. However, since the material are always backfilled against the face and this resistance cannot be guaranteed, it is normally ignored. This equation is used to check for the sliding conditions of the structure. The frictional force is considered favorable, while the sliding force is unfavorable. The total favorable forces need to be greater than the unfavorable forces in sliding. Therefore, we need the equations to be at least greater than zero to ensure the stability of the structures. For checking the sliding, the first condition here is adopted. The factor of safety for GK and QK and for the favorable and unfavorable conditions are given here. For favorable forces, 1.0 is to be applied for GK while 0 is applied for the QK. As for the unfavorable forces, 1.35 is for the GK and 1.5 is for the QK. The frictional force due to the GK can be quantified in the function of the coefficient of frictions multiply the self-weight of the system. As for the sliding force, it is the horizontal forces. It is essential to ensure these equations to be greater than zero to prevent the structures to undergo sliding. However, if this condition is not met, heel beam may be used. With that, the force due to the passive earth pressure over the face of the area of the heel may be included in resisting the sliding force. The factor of safety for the passive pressure may be adopted as 1.0 to give the worst case scenario. It is noted that to ensure proper actions of the heel being, the front face must be cast directly against sound in undisturbed material. In another word, if the passive pressure is to be considered, special precaution is required during the constructions.